Hey everybody, this is Pastor Megan at Grace Lutheran in San Francisco. Hi everybody, this is Pastor Susan coming to you from Virtual Grace. We are continuing our congregation sanctuary fix up because we're in the spirit of St. Francis from the San Damiano Cathedral where he dedicated his mission to fixing up the congregation and helping to grow the church. And so we are painting a wall today that used to be the altar wall of the original sanctuary of this congregation. And we want it to be kind of, um, we want it to be a space that's helpful for kind of our online worship service, online, uh, Facebook backdrop, but also a place that is honoring the sacredness of the, the altar that used to be in that space. I remember going to a, an, a Rothko exhibit and one of the art students that I was with was very fascinated by the drips and she actually was getting very much into it. Um, much more, she could tell you a whole lot more about her spiritual uh, spirituality of the drips than I can. I'm particularly interested in the color. Um, Rothko, to me, when I first saw a Rothko painting, it was back in Buffalo, New York, at the Albright Knox um, Art Museum, and I stood in front of this beautiful painting and was just mesmerized by it. And I stood there for the longest time and I, and I thought, this is like a, a spiritual experience. I was having a spiritual experience and I really didn't understand why, but I started exploring more about Rothko's theory about color and how he would do color um, in order to draw the person looking at it into the painting, into the color. And in fact, it, somehow using light to draw you into something more, um, a deeper, a deeper place into that color. And so this reminded me of that, especially with the cross there too, that as we're looking at it, that we're being drawn into that experience through through not just the symbol of the cross, but also of the color. Theological Union and um, wrote a whole paper about Mark Rothko, who was who was not Christian, um, Jewish by by background, but not a religious person. And yet, I felt that in his paintings, it was as um, I believe it was Saint Augustine said, "Faith seeking understanding," that he really was exploring his own um, innate spirituality and seeking a, a depth a depth into a, to a, another realm. And it's certainly what he's done for me in, in his painting, in his work. It kind of depends on the person. First of all, are you a person who uh, relates to the divine by using um, imagery, like anthropomorphic kinds of things, people, like a picture of a good shepherd for, for Jesus, or you know, any kind of representational art, a picture of a, a mountain or an ocean, or are you somebody who likes non-representational something? For, for me, I'm drawn to abstract expressionism, which does not have any representations of anything um, in humanity or nature. Um, but for me, that is, it's, it's that apath, not apathetic, um, what's the name of cataphatic and apophatic probably have the names wrong, um, spirituality, that if we think about the divine as not what it is, but what it's not. It's, it's not, doesn't look like that. It doesn't look like that. There's no way to define what it looks like. So it takes away all of that sort of imagery that, that might distract me from thinking, or from being drawn into the painting. And that's what abstract expressionism does for me. Just the color, the field of color, with kind of this light behind it, how whatever the technique is that they use, draws me into a spirituality that I really can't explain very well, but it does. Um, more so than um, a representational. But for some people, looking at a, an icon of a saint or of um, 
uh, mother and child or Jesus or something is very meaningful and just gazing at it. I mean, iconography is a very popular thing for many people. And it's really kind of the same theory as the um, Rothko with, with an icon that you're looking not just at the picture, but you're being drawn into it. You're actually being drawn into that picture and connecting with the divine. So it's really the same kind of thing. So I think using art, I guess it could be anything. It could be any kind of art as long as for you that it, it serves to, um, first of all, I guess, fascinate you, fascinate you, draw your attention to it, and, and then have an experience of, you're not just uh, looking at a piece of art, thinking of it rationally of, oh, well, yes, that's a very nice depth perception and all of that, but it's drawing you into something more. And, and then sometimes it's, it's sort of them backing off and thinking, well, what did that really mean? What for my first experience with the Rothko painting? Wow, what was that about? And then sort of exploring that, wow, that really was a spiritual experience because it drew me in into something more, something bigger than me. Um, some people just see a, a field of color. Well, they just painted some color on there. What, anybody could do that. Well, no, you can't. Um, he, really, he really had that technique. But I think Pastor Megan accomplished it pretty well here with, with the blue. Um, it certainly drew me in and reminded me of, of Rothko, and um, that's good enough for me. So there you have it.